<coughs> Hello guys, Robs HD here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Smart Xperia ROM on your Xperia Neo device. First of all, make sure your phone is on the stock ROM, or if you're updating from the previous Smart Xperia ROM, then make sure you're on that ROM and make sure you use one of the kernels which are recommended so that you don't mess up also make sure that you have a backup on clockwork mode recovery which is quite simple to do it isn't really that hard it's just in case your phone messes up and so it doesn't you know, so y you can fix it if it does get broken it's like you know one of those last resort things so first of all what you need to do is connect your phone in your computer and just put the rom in i'll put the link in the description it's just a forum link all you do is just click and download it what you do next is uh, make sure you have clock of mode recovery as i said uh, boot clock of mode recovery and then do a factory reset then you click it and click yes so here it is I'll try and get to focus here. Oof, wow, wow. Okay, when it's done, I should say factory reset complete. So, next, what you do is go to mount and storage, then click on format system. So, I'll click on format system and click yes you just swipe the format the system so this doesn't take too long as well so yeah once it's done it will say done now what you have to do is wipe the cache partition which is on the main screen so you just wipe cache partition underneath factory reset it would be so yeah that's that Press that again, and then it's gonna say cache wipe complete. Okay, after you have done that, you wipe the battery stats. So that's in advance. And then, uh, oh, sorry, you do Dalvik cache first, then battery stats. Wipe Dalvik cache, trying to get to focus here. So as you can see, it's the one on top, Dalvik cache. Uh, it's fairly quick. When you do it, you see it's, it's like one second. They say Dalvik cache complete. Then you click on wipe battery stats. So I press it, and there you go. It's like you know two seconds. So after you have done that, you just click, go back to the main menu, press back, and you go to the main menu, click, installs it from SD card. Then you click on the first one, which is choose it from SD card. And then now you locate where you put the SD card file. So once you have done that, which I'll try and get here. I'll click it here. Just click yes, and then it should open up the package. It is an Aroma installer, by the way, so it will be quite simple to do so. There you go, as you can see, Sony Xperia ROM. And there you go. Okay, when this starts, stop, choose a language. I am choosing English. Disclaimer. Agree. Next. The change log. I couldn't do an OTA update, so I had to do it like this. Then, uh, yes, device information. Oh, you could just install the ROM. I'm going to install the ROM. This bit, choose your phone device model. Make sure you choose the right one so you don't screw up. So I have the Xperia Neo, I do Xperia Neo. Click next. And if you want to install any custom stuff, you just choose it here like Google Ear, Sony Facebook integration. Might actually do the thing. And uh, titanium backup, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so do this and Google Apps for from J Bean that recognizes music information. Okay, might as well do that as well. Alright, let's go next. After you've done that, you just click install and it will install it. 
so it'll take one to two minutes. So after you've done this, the first boot does take quite a while, as you would expect with any ROMs. Then you just go for the Android setup. So uh, many people ask, are asking to make a root video. Honestly, if you want to root on the stock ROM, I can give the link to it to uh, uh, to root on the stock ice cream sandwich ROM. I can give a link to it on YouTube, but most of these custom ROMs are already rooted so there's no need to root it again I, mean, I can't make a video about how to root it since I already rooted it and it will take me quite a while to root the phone like unroot and everything also uh, this ROM works with locked and unlocked bootloaders I forgot to mention that what it just means is um, for locked bootloaders all you do is you just use the stock kernel that's it you don't have to use the any recommended kernels they gave, I'll, I'll think, uh, what do you call it, I'll post a link to the download as I said and there's instructions on how to do it. So just follow those instructions if my instructions are not as clear. So it's just installing and also uh, as a disclaimer said, I'm not, he is not responsible if your phone gets bricked and I'm not responsible if your phone gets bricked. Because this uh, here, what you do is you have to um, reboot your phone. Well, it means restart, not you know reboot from everything, and click finish. So clockwork monorca will say rebooting, and here is the moment of truth. For most neo devices, with, with smart Xperia, you need to flash a custom firmware, which I'll post in the link in the description. I'll give a list of instructions on how to post the, how to use the custom firmware. Make sure you please make sure you do that. If you do not do that, then you are pretty much screwed. Since uh, when I did it without the custom kernel, my phone messed up. So uh, what what I would do is I'll post the link, well, the instruction in the description on how to do it. So yeah, so I'll just let this load up. Shouldn't take that long. I can't pause this. Okay, once it is done you'll be great with the setup so you just choose your language so I'll, choose, I'll choose English obviously and then you'll be great with the setup so I'll just flicker through this now oh, get mobile no, why have I not work? okay and get onto this stuff later Okay, so here is here it is. This is how it look. So just lay load up. It's quite solid, really fluid as well. So uh, yeah, the f apps I've chose chosen to be installed are actually installed, which are which is great. As you can see here. So as I said, the apps that I chose to be installed have been installed. So yep, yeah. and as you can see, it's pre-rooted. So yeah, that'll be it. So thanks for watching. Please be welcome, subscribe. If you have any questions, just let me know. I try and answer it to my best of abilities. And yeah, I uh, see you in my next video. Bye.